Hey, this is Ben here, and I teach you how to write Unity shaders from scratch. At least that's what I normally do. Uh, but today, what I'm going to do is try ChatGPT, uh, and I'm going to try to get it to write some HLSL shaders. As you can see here, this one right here is actually written by by ChatGPT. It's just a copy paste of this, and we're what I'm going to do is see if it can do more than this. All I would put up here is write me a character shader for. Unity using, using HLSL. It even it didn't even use uh, Unity's surface shader. Instead, it just kind of did a vert and frag, and very basic color times this color. And yeah, I guess the color works too. Yeah, it's a very basic shader. What if I did something like convert the above into a surface shader? Just because it's a surface shader, it should just change the way it's written, but it should look exactly the same. Yeah, it doesn't have the vert and frag. It just has a void surf and albedo alpha and, and done. <laughs> Don't even think I need to verify this, but let's just kind of go ahead and verify and see what happens. I'm just gonna put it in place of this, save it off. No, it doesn't work. Unless it was my mistake when I copied it. No, it should be right. Maybe uh, because I'm in URP, uh, surface shaders don't work. All right, so I just wrote this again. It looks like it's just gonna redo the previous one uh, without it. Let's see if we can make it do something really cool. Like um, we'll add a Fresnel effect add uh, for now red for now effect red effect. Now my, the first part is always kind of similar I'm kind of waiting for it to see oh yeah it's adding world reflection <laughs> it, it needs view direction right we'll, we'll see what it does well, okay, it has a world position, world reflection. Doesn't show up at all, oh no. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give it a little bit more instruction to help it. A now effect using view direction and normal. Okay, good, it added, it took the app normal and uh, the normal from the app data, world normal, world reflect again. Why does it keep using world reflect? Maybe it's maybe it's thinking of uh, Fresnel from uh, PBR, physically based rendering. So it doesn't actually do a Fresnel effect, but it does the um, the Fresnel effect that uh, that you need to do in uh, physical based rendering. That's why it's trying to do this reflection. So that kind of makes sense now that I think about it. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't show up. Why? Ah, I see the reason. It's CG program, NCG. It needs HLSL in URP. Oh, there we go. All right, at least it's showing up. It's pink, but at least it is showing up. It doesn't like Unity Clip to POS. It doesn't have the right imports. Import the right Shaders. The above is error as an error. Import the right shaders. Okay, okay. Package net shader library. I don't know. I can't see what it's importing. I don't know about this. <laughs> I know I think core is correct, but I don't know about default resolve. But this is still mighty impressive. Like, it is a great reference. Oh no, still no good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's missing. It doesn't seem to be this core file though. You know what, maybe URP is a bit too new for it. Maybe I can try to do this in uh, non, in the built-in pipeline. So I have the same setup here, you know, 
uh, unlit shader, AI shader. I'm just going to call it that. And I'm going to see if ChatGPT can help me write a shader for this. All right, let's go. Um, all right, let's give that a go. Should work this time in the built-in pipeline. Select this and I should be able to add a texture, the texture that came with this asset onto this. Nice. Let's see if I could teach it to do something a little bit cooler. Dissolve effect to the above character. Spelt dissolve wrong. Hey, it has a dissolve cutoff. Nice. Actually, I don't even know if this is the right texture that can do dissolve, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's adding it to the right places. You know, you need option to clip position. That, that was the issue that we were having in um, URP, right? Uh, URP doesn't use uh, Unity CG Ink, but it needs this dissolve. It uses the alpha to dissolve and a step function. Yeah, that's, that's bang on actually. Let's uh, copy that in and see, see how it looks. It might not actually work here because I don't have the texture to do it properly, but I do not have the texture to do it properly. <laughs> so I can't even sh show it to you. But what if you use the red channel? Oh, there's no uh, blending. That's why there's no blending. All right, let's undo that. Let's tell, see if we can train ChatGPT a little bit. Use the red channel to do a cutoff and add alpha blending. Let's just see if it does the blend here. Or where? I don't see blending anywhere, actually. It doesn't, did not do the alpha. Oh, it put transparent, sure. As opposed to, no, it doesn't, didn't do it. It did change the channel, but it didn't add alpha blending. The above doesn't blend. <laughs> hmm, too bad I'm about the blending. Oh, it added it down here. Does that work? Uh, if it does, that's new to me. I didn't know you can put it at the bottom. It does not like it. <laughs> let me let me give it a little help. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the blending I was expecting. Yeah, but unfortunately, can I have it at the bottom here? Remove the blending. Add a red Fresnel effect. So, okay. The reason why I notice it, I've noticed it always sets Fresnel power to five, and the reason for that is probably for the uh, the Fresnel power within the physically based rendering formula. It's always at a power of five. Cut off Fresnel power. Okay, sure. Why does it still have cut off? Oh, of course it does. I didn't remove. I didn't tell it to remove uh, cut off. It's told to remove blending. Yeah, it's using world reflection instead of view direction and view normal. Uh, normal and view direction. The reason why is because the Fresnel effect in the physically based rendering formula use is is, is, is exactly that. Uh, that should be smaller case R, but other than that, oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, here, let me put this at full. How come blending is still working? Oh, no, this is not what we're looking for. Me a basic character shader with metallic. It's not physically based rendering, but still really cool. Maybe we can ask it to do that next. So let's go ahead and replace this. Doesn't like the capital R here, I'm sure. What is going on here? <laughs> View DRAR03, what? Oh, this is not right. <laughs> this is a uh, text chord one. All right, at least I tried to, this 
is not working. <laughs> this is not how metallic should work, and spec color should not just be a, like that. Yeah, you also don't get view direction from the app data, so unfortunately that's not quite right either. So yeah, unfortunately this, while it's trying, it's still not perfect yet. So it'll be, it'll be very interesting to see how ChatGPT does a little bit better in the future. Maybe after a couple of weeks, I'll give this another go to see if it uh, learned a few more things. Currently, as of yet, is not going to take over HLSL yet, but the fact that it can do all this, it means it's already very close. So maybe in a couple months, it'll, it'll start to write perfect shade of code. But uh, as of today, uh, January 30th, 2023, uh, not quite yet.